everyone we're playing some more sly four we just got to paris back in our own time zone over here we got five thousand dollars let's go ahead and i think spend it all do we can we buy everything i don't think so but we can buy this juggernaut throw we're, we're so oh 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 Oh, Murray has a lot more things to buy. What about Bentley? Okay, Bentley does have a few things too. Oh, doubles the size. Okay, I think we have to get this right. And then I'm I'm sorry. Oh, we need a lot more money. Okay. I'll probably after we finish the game, we'll have to kind of go back and grind because whew, we need a lot more money than I thought we did. Maybe I should have spent more time farming at a at one mission. I could have farmed more, but yeah. Well, I'll do it later. Let's go ahead and go outside and see what's going on. All right. We all know this is our last shot at stopping La Paradox and rescuing Carmelita. Currently, his blimp is docked outside the museum. I can't pinpoint Carmelita's exact position, but I believe she's being held somewhere near the loading bay. Sly, there appears to be a utility hatch on the blimp's underside that will get you inside. You can use one of the mooring lines to reach it. Once you're in, try to gather as much information as you can. But remember, we'll be right behind you, so don't do anything rash. Murray, I need you to get the van ready. We're gonna need backup for this one. So first, you and I are going on a little recruiting trip. Then we'll rendezvous with Sly inside the blimp and figure out our next move. Okay, I realize it's not the most elaborate plan, but it's the best we've got. So everybody watch your backs, and let's go take that skunk down once and for all. Let's do it. Okay, Bentley, I'm in. I can see Carmelita. It's obviously a trap, bro. Come on. There. You know it's a setup. I know, pal, but I don't have a choice. Just get here as fast as you can. Yeah, this is, um... How is this not a trap? Maybe if we go from the back? Carmelita. Sly! No! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Isn't this what happened in Sly 1, too? Where we, like, ran up and... I knew you could not resist, Cooper. You are so predictable. Oh, yeah? Well, how's this for a prediction? I'm gonna kick that stripe right off your tail. Yes, yes, and now come the big France on the little man. As I said, predictable. Let us out! You afraid of a fair fight, coward? No, 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 I don't think so. I have something special planned for you too. It is, how do you say, a going away party. I like parties. What type of food are you gonna get? It up. You all know why you're here. We have to find your canes and get you back where you belong now. If we don't, we'll never be able to repair the damage La Paradox has done. What about Sly? He's on his own for now, Murray, but I'm sure he'll be fine. It's Sly. Ryuichi, you're up first. My readings show your cane is somewhere in this room. All right. I can sense it too, Bentley son. Alright, we, we gotta go through a little mission with everyone, it seems. Alright, there's one. Is this, is this time to farm again? No, don't kill him. Oh, actually, I won't. I won't be able to stop these guys because there's no. Well, I'll still grab what treasure I can. Yeah, this isn't like the other level where, I, you know, the mission wouldn't end, but. Ryoichi again. Alrighty. Everyone loves my boy Ryoichi. Guard, 
Hmm. Oh, we're gonna need him to climb, though, don't we? Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, that was so. Oh, all of that whole sequence was way too lucky. A lot of climbing. Yep, so we're gonna go ahead and stop him at what cost, man? Even Penelope, bro. Whoops. I forgot that I have to R2 slide real quick. Dimensional what? Calibrated? Maybe you got oh oh he had treasure on him, but I beat him up. No. I didn't want to beat you up. I'll take your treasure though. Thank you. Zoink. Oh <gasps> juice box. Five hundo. Tier three. Say less. Hmm, I wonder who's this for. Didn't we just like talk about what he's up to? Or am I or am I like missing something? <laughs> that one wasn't that bad. Yeet. Very nice, Salim. You've definitely earned your retirement. I salute your excellence, Sir Salim. Now that we got Mr. Cranky Pants home safely, we need to press on. I feel like this is a kid Cooper, right? Gotta shoot those out. Dallas, we need your skills nope. to get Tennessee's cave. Verily shall it be in thine command, hence and forthwith. Uh, you talk funnier than a two-headed jackalope, but thanks, amigo. What? Where do I go? Break those fuses to disable that laser grid. Fortune favors the bold, so boldly shall I attack. Okay. Am I supposed to jump off here? Yo. Shred up 
I keep forgetting that those still exist. Yeah. Shall I venture forward? I'm waiting for this thing to move. Oh, I'm supposed to go here. Never mind. I am a little dummy. Yeah. All right, go ahead and take me over. Is treasure you you there nope you no no there we go do not shoot one more shake hey yo we got his cheese give me your cheese can I just like hold this guy and just like mess with the level all right open the door Best Cooper by far. Let's go and do it. Where am I supposed to go though? Oh, probably over here, right? I got it. One. Zero. Those platforms appear to be on some kind of timer. You better move it. Uh -huh. it's That's time to right. move it, move it. He's back in business. No. Tennessee. It's all up to you. It's Tennessee and Paris now. Is it though? Is it? Oh, we know what to do with that. Nope, nope, that wasn't right. Oh, they gave us an even easier one. Okay, okay. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. I was, it just went where I wasn't wanting it to go. He doesn't have any friends, though. To be together forever. Just think of it as the most romantic coffin ever. <laughs> Don't count on it, Le Paradox. We've beaten all your other plans. Ah, but not this time, I think. Look at this. My marvelous contraption. The time tunnel. Something else I had your little friend Penelope develop before her unfortunate failure. Is very much like the time machine, though, with one important difference. From here, I have the control over where you go. 
and it's programmed to send you and your Interpol shrew on an endless honeymoon, free of charge, bouncing through time for all eternity. That's if you survive the trip. But either way, I will never have to see your irritating faces again. You think this thing can hold me? Just wait until I get out of here. Why'd you do it, La Paradox? Why the ancestor? Why not just come after me? What's the deal? The deal? The deal is you, Cooperis. You destroyed my father, and you almost got me. But not quite. And when I rebuilt myself, I swore I would erase the Cooper name from history completely. And so today, my revenge will be complete. It is time now for you to go. Bon voyage! Fly! Look at your pretty vermin! Ooh, wait! Cut that closer than a ten dollar shave! Making my time here is up. Take care, Tennessee! Later. I will crush you! What a dummy, dude. All these years just to accidentally shove his robotic arm into that. Do I just jump on him? Ooh, this is just like Lefui's fight. He is kind of a dummy though. Again, he spent how many decades working on this? And he accidentally screwed it up by shoving his robot arm into his own machine? Dude, what an absolute buffoon. How dumb do you have to be? I mean, there's nothing wrong with his stupid sword. Maybe it's the hand that's holding him, man. Better up. Sly, do you read me? Get out of there, Sly! Where is that little weasel? I know it's difficult, Cooper, but try to keep up! This thing is coming apart at the seams. Don't fall! Then I won't get the chance to kill you myself! <laughs> so, before we finish this, let me get one thing straight. You came after the Coopers because of what happened to your father? No, you imbecile! I came after the Coopers to prove that Le Paradox is the greatest thief who has ever lived. Is there any 
find out? Ask yourself this. If the Coopers were truly the greatest thieves in history, and I have stolen their most valued possessions, then what does that make me? Um, an idiot? You had it made. You could have been the biggest thief of all time, but you had to target my ancestors and blow your own cover. You exposed your operation because of your ego. No Cooper would have done that. And for the record, can you really say you stole the canes? Seems like your friends did all the real work. Enjoy your words, Cooper, because they will be your last. All right, bud. Yeah, if you say so. Now, now, think of your blood pressure, Cyril. Oh, he just called him geriatric. I wonder how old he is. He's probably pretty old, though. Oh, man, just Mortal Kombat finished him right there. Oh, did I mess up that fight? Oops. Later. This is not right. My plan was perfect. Sorry, pal. You just can't plan for a Cooper. Just please help me. Why should I? I do not wish to die. I guess you won't be doing any harm from a prison cell. Yeah, I'm. Um, yeah. Won't get away with this. I'll find you. Au contraire, Sly Cooper. I do not think we will meet again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that Delta? Delta Airlines always comes in uh comes in at the right moment. since that night, but there's still no sign of Sly. Or that cursed blimp. The skunk could barely tread water. So by the time they picked him up, he was happy to see them. Word is he earned a special cell in solitary confinement, where the only thing he'll be collecting from now on is gray hair. Both Paris and the Thievius Raccoons were back to normal, but that hardly made us feel any better. At first, we just waited, assuming Sly would show up the way he always did. But as the days stretched into weeks, we had to face the fact that he was truly lost. We've stopped talking about it all the time, but I know it's all we're thinking about, even if we show it in different ways. Murray seems like his usual cheerful self, but I can tell there's a new level of seriousness underneath it all. He's on the professional wrestling circuit now, and he's really been pushing himself. I know he's doing it to keep his fighting skills sharp. Like all of us, he wants to be ready for action the minute we locate Sly. Carmelita returned to Interpol, where she threw herself into her work, busting criminals at a record pace. She's been so busy, I haven't seen her for a while now. My sources tell me she's conducting her own investigation into Sly's whereabouts. Out of everyone, I think she took his disappearance the hardest. Even if she never shows it. At least not in public. As for myself, I continue to search. Even using all my technology, I haven't found a clue. The time machine is no help since we need to know where Sly was for that to work. I get discouraged sometimes, but I'll never give up. Because I know Sly's out there, and I know that wherever he is, we will find him. Man, and they, they, they set up the next game. Richie Cooper continued to refine his master ninja techniques, as well as his sushi. 
And while his thefts were never detected, his sushi restaurant was recognized as the finest in Japan. Such a shame they never made another game after this. And, um, as usual, we will do a small review of the game after. El Jefe remains behind bars. He was transferred to a South American prison, where he now works rolling cigars. Unfortunately for him, there's no smoking allowed. Yeah, because I do... I have some things to say about this game. Surprisingly, mostly good. Um, which surprised me too. Tennessee Kid Cooper recovered his gold and his place in history as the greatest outlaw of the Old West. His legend grew even bigger when he began stealing from crooked lawmen exclusively. Okay. So is that where, like, the whole We Only Steal From Thieves started right there? Was he the one that started that? Which, again, he was already, like, my favorite Cooper, so... Toothpick was arrested and became part of a chain gang working on the railroads. He eventually went deaf and faded into obscurity. <laughs> Such a random fact. By the way, he went deaf. Well, all right, narrator. Thanks for letting us know that. He, he went deaf. Caveman Cooper kept up his physical training and returned to his role as egg thief extraordinaire. Perhaps most importantly, he pioneered the use of his cane as a tool for thieving. Alright, so we get some real contributions here. We got how we steal from uh, Kid Cooper, the tools from Ooga Booga. The Grizz received a lengthy prison sentence and began a new career as a rap artist. In his spare time, he paints portraits of his fellow inmates. Honestly, he never seemed like such a bad guy to me. He just wanted some money. He was kind of mean about it, but... I mean, who doesn't want a little bit of money? Sir Galleth Cooper returned to his heroic adventures and went on to form the Knights of the Cooper Order, a gallant group that stole from corrupt nobility. He also became a successful, if overly dramatic, actor. Alright. Seem seems about right. He was always a little over the top, so that makes makes a little bit of sense. Basically became a theater kid. Penelope was sent to Europe's highest security prison, where she promptly escaped. She remains at large, and the police have no clue as to her whereabouts. Recently, however, I've been receiving mysterious postcards. Hmm. If they ever make another game, that... Right? Obviously, Bentley, Penelope, back together. Although I don't think they're ever going to make another game, but that would be goaded. Salim al Kupar finally retired from thieving and took a long nap. Then he dreamed up a lucrative new business. Parking his camel around town, he sold snacks to hungry customers. It was highly successful. Alright, he invented the food truck. Very nice, you know, Kid Cooper and... Ooga Booga, they all did great food truck. Slim <laughs> food truck. After being locked up, Miss Decibel decided to make some changes. She had the horn removed from her trunk, enrolled in anger management classes, and began teaching music to other prisoners. With continued good behavior, she might get an early parole. Alright. I guess she, she wasn't one of the worst. She was just kind of blinded by love or whatever even though how can you love the paradox you know but fair enough dimitri returned to his globe trotting ways as a celebrity scuba diver and even launched a new line of fashion wear he's so successful there's a new reality tv show chronicling his adventures it's called disco diver yeah also makes sense love our boy dimitri around these parts best side character by far Probably the only reason he's the only one that came to this game. La Paradox had all his assets seized, including his art collection, and everything was donated to the city of Paris. I'm told his cell was modified to be completely odor-proof. I suppose that's good for the guards, since he's going to be living there for a very long time. Oh, bro. He's gonna, like, 
What's that? He's gonna hotbox himself. Ugh. That's nasty. Alright, who's next? Maybe Sly? Maybe. Show me. Come on, game. You know you want to. Okay. That's it? Really? Okay. Now, I know there's one cinematic that everyone wants to see, but I don't think I have it. Ultimate Bentley. Okay, let's put Ultimate Bentley on. Let's put Ultimate Sly on. Monkey Paraglider. Alright, let's get that. Okay. Okay. Well, y'all know what we have to do now. Um... We're going to be getting all the treasures, all of the collectibles, all of the everything. That's, we will, we have 100% at every game thus far, and we will be continuing that trend, and I will not stop until I do that. Um, but it is technically the end of the game here, so I'm going to give my little review, as I always give with the other games. Honestly, you guys heard kind of the things that I was saying at the end of Sly 3, going into this game you know I was saying like yeah I don't know about this game I heard it's not that good blah 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 I'm just gonna be honest I was wrong um this game has been great I I don't know why I disliked it so much I mean obviously I, this doesn't beat slide two or three in my opinion obviously but very easily it almost could um if I was a kid and I played this first I would think this is like a classic Sly game. It, and I, I don't know how many of you guys are going to hate me for saying that, but this has been a good game. There, there's nothing wrong with this game. The gameplay itself was much better than the other games. There was more variety. There's The maps were cool. Like We, could, we had more abilities. I think this was a great game. There's really only one quarrel that I have with it and I'll you know I'll say that one more I guess we'll get to the story here um I think the story was actually fine um time travel can get a little sticky and I'm usually not a fan of time travel but I think this game actually did it not that bad it could have been much worse but my one problem with the entire game is part of the story the paradox he is really the only problem in this entire game. It just seems like he was thrown in here. There was no history. It just seems really out of left field. We were chasing a random skunk throughout the game. And then all the way at the end, they finally tell us, Oh, he, your dad messed with him. So now he's here to kill you. It just seems a little, little thrown in there, a little too haphazardly. It doesn't... There's, it's not meaningful, you know, villains, when you defeat them, are supposed to be meaningful. Dr. M, even his story was a, was a little shallow, so I guess even Sly 3 has a problem with that. But the villain, when you beat it, it's supposed to feel, you're supposed, it's supposed to mean something, it's supposed to be a big moment at the end of the game. I didn't feel anything with when beating Love Paradox because I didn't really care. He, he never really in my heart ever became a villain he was just the one dude we just had to smack in the head because well that's where the game's taken us so as far as the game i like the game honestly i kind of respect on this game i thought it was bad it wasn't as bad as i thought and it was actually pretty good overall the story i once again i don't mind minus the paradox which i know it's like well that's like the biggest part of it yeah i know but the, the what i'm basically trying to say here is replace the paradox with maybe any other character we actually cared about and i think this would like honestly i even think if they would have replaced the paradox with penelope just screw the paradox get him out of here put penelope in his place and then just reform the story kind of around penelope i almost think this would have been a like a golden game here you know it's someone we care about we've known for a while but instead they stuck us with a random dude that we don't know but saying that play this game it's fairly good actually so yeah thanks for watching guys um once again this isn't technically the last video we're gonna go ahead and get all the treasures and stuff so i'll see you guys in the next one thanks guys